I wanted to make a quick add-on video for the hydroponics. Uh, unfortunately, I found out the hard way. I'm new into the hydroponics thing. I uh, did a nutrient change on my herbs uh, from a previous video I showed. I did a nutrient change, and what had occurred was I used tap water, which my pH was fine when I added my uh, Maxi Grow 6.0. I uh, put it in, and I noticed some brown roots within one to two days. Now, the plants themselves look wonderful, but I noticed some brown roots in one to two days. So I did a little research, and what I found out is I probably got a little shock to the root system because of the chlorine in my tap water. So I wanted to make a quick video on how to easily remove chlorine from your tap water and at the same time uh, get yourself two uh, deep water culture units set up. Um, real quick before I go into this, I wanted to make note on my earlier video about the uh, herb garden and the peppers. The design of that system uh, was from a fellow that's on uh, YouTube, Slee Stacks Rule. That's S-L-E-E-S-T-A-K-S Rule, R-U-L-E. Uh, that's his channel. Uh, check him out. He's got a lot of great info on there. And for those that don't know, uh, Slee Stacks are the creatures from Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell that were like the aliens. And yes, they do rule. They're pretty uh, bitching. So um, real quick, what I wanted to show uh, in this video is what I got here, basically for $30, totally set up. I got an air pump, Walmart 11 something for a dual head air pump. I got two air stones down in the bottom of these two buckets from Lowe's. The Lowe's were $5 for both. The two air stones, I think, total were $2.50 together. As you can see, a ton of bubbles going through them. And how this works for getting rid of the chlorine, you put your tap water in there, and basically you run this air pump for a few days. And because of the agitation in the air, uh, the oxygen going through the water, you're going to lose the chlorine that's in the water. Are you going to lose the other bad stuff that's in the drinking water of today, like fluoride and all that? No. But you will lose the chlorine. This is my quick fix so I don't whack out the plants I have until I get a uh, rain collection system set up. And then I'm probably going to exclusively use uh, rainwater. Uh, we're down here in coastal Carolina. We get a lot of good rain, so uh, I won't have any problem once I get a collection system set up. But what I did want to say, you're not going to be in vain wasting your money setting this up. Uh, real quick, if I'm going to kill the power real quick to show you the air stones that are down there. It's a pretty nice air stone. And uh, like Slee Stack Rules did in the uh, deep water culture system for the herbs, I hot glued them to the bottom so they wouldn't float off. Uh, but you can see that's a good size air stone. They're cheap. They're a dollar something a piece. I think a dollar less than a dollar fifty or a dollar twenty five. I'm sorry, dollar twenty five a piece. So I got those in there, and I'm going to plug it back in. They put a good amount of bubbles. Real simple to do. Then once I'm done with this system for using it uh, to clear out the chlorine in the water for my uh, my other hydroponic units, I can simply with one of these right here. Now this is a bucket lid adapter. It has a neti pot built in, and as you can see at my local hydro store, well, maybe you can't see. Let me see. At my local, uh, you can't. You have to take my word for it. At my local hydro store, these are $5 each. Uh, you go in and pick them up. If you don't have a hydro store nearby, which uh, fortunately I have several, you can get these online. What I will do once I'm getting my uh, water from rain collection systems, I will go ahead and adapt this. As you can see, that fits real nice on a bucket. It'll snap down. I will go ahead and cut uh, down into the buckets or drill a hole more or less to let the air line in. But basically, fill that up with some uh, hydrogen and you have a uh, deep water system for another plant. So for $30, you could either easily make yourself two deep water buckets. Like I said, supplies from Walmart, Airstones Walmart, buckets Lowe's, or take the other 10 off. For $20, you can uh, easily make a system that will remove chlorine from tap water if you so choose to use tap water. Uh, so hopefully this uh, video helped uh, guys out. Um, 
If you got any comments, please uh, leave them. Any questions, leave them. Uh, once again, if you guys get a chance, uh, check out Slee Stacks Rules uh, channel. He's got some great information for uh, hydro gardening in there and light fixtures and stuff. Uh, if you uh, know anyone interested, please send them my way. Please subscribe uh, to my channel as I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. And uh, thank you very much for watching.